Welcome, welcome to the Spirit Biz Podcast. I am sitting here with the one and only Dulce Badillo. And um, I, you know, have been wanting to connect with her for the longest time. She is someone that I just recently uh, met, and uh, it's because of a mutual friend of ours, actually my real estate coach, Raquel Quinette, um, introduced me to uh, her a while ago, and I um, could not get her out of my mind. Um, Dulce is one of those people that is dedicated on making women feel good, look good, and just get out there with full confidence and make power moves in this world. And so, um, you know, I I did, you know, want to tell them a little bit about you, Dulce. So you've dedicated the last 15 years of your life to helping women look good, feel good, as I said, and showing them how to transform their wardrobe to match their inner transformations. And so um, in, in your own words, something that I'll quote is, you said, as you evolve, so should your wardrobe. And I absolutely love that. Um, I, I totally love what you're doing in the world and um, wanted to welcome you to the show. So hi, Dulce. <laughs> hi, Melody. Thank you so much for having me, first of all, on your show. I'm so grateful for that. And um, yes, my name is Dulce Badillo. I am a wardrobe stylist and style coach. Um, I started, um, you know, I have a love for, uh, for anything fashion, anything that has to do with clothes since I was a little girl. You know, you start thrifting. You, um, I, I started as just like, you know, coming from very humble beginnings and wanting to be stylish and wanting to look you know, the part that the girls did in high school. And so I started shopping at their stores, putting outfits together and, and got really creative with that. And as time went on, as I was um, going through high school and college, um, it was something that always stuck with me. I tried other things, you know, I tried, I, I studied psychology and um, I worked um, for a psychologist for a while. And then I worked at a bank and then I realized like, my life is, is always ever changing and I want to um, do things that are true to me. And so clothing was always one of those things, something that we put on our clothes every single morning. We all do it. We all wake up and we all get dressed. Mm -hmm. And so why not, why not do it in a way where we can express ourselves and really be seen? And so being a woman, um, it was a way for me to connect to myself every single day and how I felt about myself. If I would go down that rabbit hole and um, all of a sudden I wouldn't feel like myself, the best way to connect with myself was with clothes. And so um, it was always a way to bring me back to, to, um, to my femininity, to who I was. And it was a way for me to always find myself. And so then um, I decided to help women do the same. And there's nothing better than, than seeing a woman who, who kind of has lost herself, whether it was in a marriage or in a job or doing something that she didn't love and, and life just kind of takes over. There's nothing more beautiful than me seeing a woman um, come out of that and find herself um, and really feel her power and the way she shows up in the world with clothes. So we only have you know, anywhere from five to seven seconds to make that first impression, whether it's online, um, in our business, um, in person, and and why not? Let's make it. Let's make it a big one. And we get we have the opportunity. We get to dress up every single day, um, regardless of of you know your size or age. Um, we get to show up any way that we want. We get to express ourselves any way that we want. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's do it big. And I, I love that. I, I love seeing women transform. I love helping women see themselves in a different light. And I love teaching them how to shop differently and um, really show up for themselves. I love that. And there is so much about what you just said that I absolutely love. And so let's dig in, like, let's dig deep on the subject of connection and the subject of women be able, being able to connect with themselves. I mean, 
a lot of times as women, we go through inner transformations. Some of them are small, some of them are larger, um, you know, and, and I know that I'm not the same person as 10 years ago, 100%. Mm -hmm. And, and we go through these kind of micro evolutions in, in our life, but yet we never really feel like we're ever changing because everything outside of us, as far as our relationships, our homes, our cars, our clothing, always are the same. You know, those things never really change on a daily basis, even though we are. And so tell us a little bit more about, you know, the superpower that you have as a leader in the industry that's able to really tap into who that women, you know, who the, who the women are that you're helping and how do you kind of tap into who they are? How do you help, you know, find their true style and kind of bring out their inner essence? Is there like a process that you go through with them? Is there a questionnaire that you have them fill out? Like, how do you, cause you know, you, I love what you do and I absolutely love your work and I'm a, I'm a huge fan of it. And so I want to kind of understand how you're able to tap in, see these huge transformations that these women are going through in their lives and be able to manifest that in their outer world when it comes to their wardrobe and how they show up in the world because it's so important it is and you know like you were saying we all go through these different transformations you know as as we as we go through time um um we go through different seasons we go through different seasons in life where uh we are not feeling so great and in some seasons where we are um and i think every woman you know in their past has felt some way about their body. Um, when, when we're growing up, it's, it's always like a very special thing as a woman, you know, our body goes through changes. And so um, we're not so comfortable with it. Um, and as time goes on, we look at pictures from ourselves, you know, back then, let's say five or 10 years ago. Um, and then we're like, oh, wow, I actually looked really good. And I was so, so slim. Why didn't, wouldn't I, why didn't I take advantage of that? You know, why was I, why was I complaining about my body? You know, because we're so hard on ourselves that that's the case often. And so, um, I went through that, by the way, I just saw a picture of myself, like, I don't know, from 2018, it was me of my husband and I, and I was thinking like, at that time, I probably thought that I looked fat and like not great or not attractive. But looking back on that, I was like, oh my God, I actually looked really good. Yes. Yes. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny how our mind is always going against our own bodies and our own, our own beauty. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I really sit with that because this happens. I address so many women in my life and I, and I have been in many, just in many, uh, rooms with women and in situations like this and it doesn't matter to me or how tall or how perfect or how young or how old you are we all say the same thing about our bodies and like it's it's natural to say oh my gosh I'm not feeling you know great today and I'm feeling bloated today and I'm fat today and it's always the same thing and so if we can just change that and and think about our bodies that we have in this very, um, in this very moment, if we can just um, really take into consideration um, our, our bodies and what they do for us. Mm -hmm. We are alive. These bodies carry us. They, we can walk, we can move, they, we can run, we can exercise in them. And so, and so like, let's be grateful for the body that we have today and at this very present moment, because that's all we're ever going to have. This is all we're ever going to have right now. And so let's worry about the body that we have today and cherish it and dress it up and, and like, just celebrate it. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the number one thing that I want to get out there and make sure that women hear this because let's, let's reframe our thoughts on our body. Okay. okay. And second of all, um, as we move, as we grow, as we expand, we so often get, you know, caught up in the outfits and in the same 
um, repetitive story that we were 10 years from now, you know, maybe from college. I mean, some people still have clothes in their closet from high school. Um, and so we forget <laughs> to, to really evolve. You know, we do a lot of things to transform ourselves, to shift, to grow. We invest in ourselves. So why not do the same thing on the outer side? Let's match our outside with our insides. And so we're not in high school anymore. We're not in college. Let's show up as the woman that we are today, the powerful, the embodied, the strong, the, the independent, wise women that we are today. And let's reflect it on the outer. You know, we are women. We are women. And so um, it's, it's so important to also invest in that part of yourself because, um, because it really shines a light on who you are today. And, um, and really just like you get the opportunity to reinvent yourself as well, like really show up exactly as who you are right now, not, not how you were 10 years ago right. on the right. outside. <laughs> I love that. And that, I mean, so good. And, and tell us a little bit about why it's important to show up in a new way or in a transformed way. Like, tell us how that really affects your confidence, how you move in the world, because, you know, like personally for me, and this is, you know, me just being vulnerable. I, I grew up in a family where brand names and dressing super fancy or bougie or, you know, mm -hmm. risque or whatever it is, like my, my mom and dad frowned upon that. And still to this day, I mean, my mom works at the bank her colors and wardrobe are very limited to either black or white, you know, it's all suits and collared shirts and pressed and, you know, very classy and things like that. So she, she can't necessarily show up to the bank working a banker job and like a Gucci belt and like Louis Vuitton shoes and all that stuff to, and she has to like, you know, work within the confines of the, her profession that she's in. But me being in real estate sales, I've really had to step outside of my shell and step outside of how I grew up and what I was conditioned to think was appropriate um, and force myself to kind of try different things. Or, you know, I remember, I still remember like the first day I bought my Gucci belt, I was like, oh my God, this is like a big deal for me because I, you know, my, my, I'm not going to tell my mom I'm doing this because she's going to be so mad at me if she knows. Yeah. Um, and so you know, that's just how I grew up. And I was never really taught to invest in the way that I look outside. I was taught, you know, more that it's about how you carry yourself and how you present yourself and your speech and the words that you use and how, you know, educated you are. And so um, this is something that's been hard for me to really tap into it. I struggle with it. And so why is it important for women you know, women that maybe grew up in a more conservative household to really pay attention to this? And, mm -hmm. and, and why is it important? And why does it matter? You know, mm, I love that. Thank you for sharing that. Um, yeah, it's, it's important to also, you know, be smart and speak well and do all those things, everything that you said, yes, that's, that's valuable. Um, and I think when it comes to clothes, um, I know for a fact that we become, we become how we perceive ourselves. So if we are getting dressed in the morning in a way where we are feeling beautiful, we are feeling solid and we feel good about the way that we look, it's going to radiate into the world, into yourself that you are amazing. Not only, not only that, but it's going to feel so good when you look good, you feel good. And therefore you, you're carrying around that energy throughout the day with everybody that you come in contact with and you are inspiring them. You are a walking inspiration of light because you are feeling good. And this is, and this is for women and men. Um, it is important. It is important the way that we show up, the, what we wear and how we wear it, because it really impacts us on the inside. You know, if you look good, you feel good. And it does, it, it shifts something internally within ourselves that allows us to show up when you are feeling good and when you are feeling, you know, a hundred percent, you show up more authentic. You show up in a way where it's inspiring to other people. And so like, 
like, why not, why not show up in a way where you are, where you are, where you can be a hundred percent, you know, and not 50%, you know, we have, we have done all this work within ourselves, but let's work on, on being presentable. Let's work on having that self care, that self respect to, to really put, um, thought into how we wake up and how we're going to present ourselves into the world and how, who is our, who is our inspiration and how we are going to show up within ourselves, because it is a a form of Mm self-care. It is. And, and looking good and feel, and, 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 and the way we, the way we care for ourselves and this goes to men too. It's so important with men as well. You know, you, um, you are a walking billboard of your business, um, of who you are in your person, in your brand. And, um, and you make impressions in that way. You know, it opens opportunities. It opens opportunities for people to get to know you. And um, it shines a light on you in a way where you may not even realize it, just walking into a room, you know, and, and owning it and really, you know, putting yourself, you know, in the forefront of, of just really, you know, standing out and owning your energy, owning your persona, owning your brand. Mm -hmm. Um, So there are a lot of advantages um, besides it, just making you feel amazing and inspiring other people. There are a lot of other advantages because like I said earlier, you do make an impression within the, you know, you know, five to seven seconds somebody sees you and, and sometimes you don't get that time back to make that impression on somebody. Um, and it may be somebody that may turn your life around or an opportunity that may open a door into something else. So, um, it is important. It is important, especially if you are in a field where, um, image matters. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. If you're online a hundred percent, um, if you have a brand a thousand percent, you want to elevate that you want to show up for yourself. So, yeah, I love that. I really love that. And I mean, speaking of the opportunities, I, you know, I think I heard you say on another, um, on another video or a podcast that I was listening to that you were on that you, um, you know, notice so many opportunities arising from women showing up and men showing Mm -hmm. up as their best selves. And I feel like that was something that I never even thought about, you know, I never even thought about, oh, if I show up, you know, dressed to the nines and, and, you know, dressed really well, then Mm -hmm. people are going to take notice of that and maybe want to work with me in the future. I always thought that it was, you know, something that I couldn't, you know, necessarily control. And Mm -hmm. so I think that that, I mean, you know, I think that that's a really beautiful thing. And and yeah. talk to us a little bit about, let's say, you know, someone doesn't have the budget or someone doesn't have a lot of money to spend on maybe going and buying a whole new closet. You know, what are some, you know, tools that you can give us or strategies or tips that someone could take away from this and go, you know, I gained something in value and, and I'm I'm able to implement that today. And in addition to that, you know, what, what suggestions could you give, um, to women that maybe gained a couple of pounds or maybe aren't feeling like the best selves right now, but still want to show up in a powerful way? What can they do today to implement? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, people who are more a little bit on a budget and this kind of to answer your question that you asked earlier, when you said that, you know, you grow very humble and, you know, you guys didn't buy name brands. Um, and actually, um, name brands, there's, there's a, uh, there's a lot of price points we're talking about. You know, when I have a client that I take shopping, we have, you know, a client who has, you know, a smaller budget, a medium budget, or a really high budget. None of them are different. None of them are different because, um, we shop based on the client's needs and their wants because the, the higher budget, the clients used to having a little bit more of a name brand, um, clothing and, and it's very specific on how the clothes fit and materials. Um, and so the, you know, the middle, the middle one is a little bit more like, you know, like we can, we have some leeway to shop, you know, at like, you know, Nordstrom's or Zara's or, you know, Madewell, um, some, some buy some amazing pieces. And then for the lower budget, um, 
we hit up the sale racks. There's no difference. There's no difference. You're still getting the same amount of clothes. You're still um, buying the same quality of clothes. It's just our, our thought process and our process is going to be a little bit different. Um, but it, there's no difference in all of them. Um, you, can, you can look a million bucks and not spend and not break the bank um, because the, the amount of clothes and the amount of online stores and resources out there to look amazing and prices um, to look amazing are, are endless. I mean, Amazon has a lot of great pieces that you can buy <laughs> off of there. And no look amazing. way. Really? Yes. Amazon. Amazon yes. <laughs> to, I mean, and they carry like name brands, you know, of, of high tier name brands, but just to say that there's, there's no, there's, you don't have to break the bank in order to look good. Um, you know, I'm not a huge advocate of, of logos, you know, like I don't, I don't want my clients be, you know, dressed, you know, you know, from the top to down in Louis Vuitton. Um, but I do think it's, it is important to look for pieces that are quality and that are going to match your existing wardrobe. Mm -hmm. And for somebody who doesn't have that much, um, that much of a budget, um, start in your wardrobe. Our wardrobes are magical places. We have so much clothes in there. Mm -hmm. Um, I love to, you know, with a client, I go to their house and uh, we go through every single piece in the wardrobe. I have them try it on. And you would be amazed that they forgot about this amazing pair of pants or this top that is just stuffed all the way in the back that they forgot existed and how amazing it looked that they can start wearing again because our closets have such, we already have amazing pieces that we haven't paired with other pieces in our closet. So I would always tell my clients, let's start in your closet. Let's see what you have. Let's see what we can, you know, repurpose and rewear because it's, still on trend right now and it still looks good and it's still taken care of um I mean I have pieces in my closet from eight ten years ago that I still wear today because I decided to shop smart um buy buy things that you know stand the test of time and quality I spent just a little bit more to to for the fabric to last a little bit longer therefore I get a longer wear you know you get cost per wear you know really how many times are you going to wear that and then you you know you you divide about how much you paid for it. So you really get your money's worth. And yeah. so starting your closets, you know, if you're on a budget, start there. And then when you decide to go shopping and, you know, and you want to, you want to start creating this amazing wardrobe, let's start with um, the basics, you know, a, a great closet, you know, is built on, on a solid foundation of basics. You know, this is how you build your capsule wardrobe. So you buy your button up white shirt, you buy your, your black pants, your, your, um, beige pants, um, you buy the, the classics and have that well-rounded and then you get to have fun and start adding the, the fun pieces that will exude your personality and who you are. Because at the end of the day, we still want to be authentic to who we are and our own selves. And I'm, I want my clients to show up as themselves fully. I don't want them to show up as somebody that they're not. Um, and so, um, that's when you can start adding the fun pieces, the accessories, um, and all the colors and everything. But let's start with a strong, a strong foundation, which is your core basics. So if that's somewhere where you need to start, let's start there. Let's start there. And I'm working on something right now that's going to create, um, some solid, um, um, basics on how to create your, your, how to create that foundation in order to make it easy for everybody to get dressed in the morning, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, but at least you have those, um, those foundations to stick to, then you can build on that. And, you know, and also stick to a color thing. Um, when you are building that core foundation, stick to, um, neutrals, um, olives, grays, blacks, whites, um, any type of neutral color that best suits your skin type. Um, and so, um, that's, that's the advice that I would give to that. And, um, and yeah, when it comes to price, it doesn't matter. We have the res the resources are endless and you don't have to be breaking the bank in order to look good. You can still buy some nice quality. We have places like Zara, Aritzia, um, um, Nordstrom's Madewell. Like there's a lot of places where you can really get some good, good basics and set some good foundations for some like really nice high-waisted pants or, or, 
or um, whatever uh, cut of pants that you prefer to build that that closet first. Ooh, I love everything that you just said. I really, I'm going to listen to this again because I want to take some notes down. You just dropped some pants, <laughs> girl. You dropped some serious gems. And I feel like you almost need to like go on masterclass and like teach a course. Right. Or something on this. <laughs> this is so good. Like this is gold. Okay. And if someone doesn't walk away from this podcast with a couple of golden nuggets, then I'm going to be really, really surprised. In fact, I want everyone to comment, send, you know, us a DM, like, let us know, leave a review, let us know what you took away from this episode. Because honestly, I think this is one of my favorite ones yet that I have done. And it is, it's, I can talk about this. I mean, for so long with you, I feel like me too. like one of my favorite subjects I mean this is something that I've really been digging deep into in my life as you know because you know we've been talking for some time now and I was supposed to come out to Arizona to actually shop with you a couple of weeks Mm -hmm. ago except for I got a really bad nasal infection and I couldn't even fly I didn't even make it no um but I'm still planning on doing that and I'm still planning Mm -hmm. on coming out there and meeting with you and setting aside a full shopping day with you because that's how important I think this is. And just to give our listeners some context, the day that I heard Dulce speak, I believe you were on another podcast that I was listening to, big fan of podcasts when I'm like Mm -hmm. cleaning the house or driving, I was listening to you. And you said, start with cleaning out your closet before you go and buy anything new. And um, I have a follow-up question to that. Um, But first, I will say that I got rid of probably 50% of the clothes in my closet. And it felt so good. I felt like this energy, like this weight lifted off of my shoulders And I got rid of all of these clothes out of my closet and I went and I actually donated them, um, which felt even better. I donated them to our local Latina church, um, which was really, really cool and um, got rid of them. But, um, you know, how often would you say or would you recommend that someone goes through their wardrobe and does a whole, you know, kind of like, um, you know, getting rid of some stuff? Okay, so I would say um, for anybody clearing out their closet, um, at least once a year, you know, maybe during spring cleaning or anything like that. Um, congratulations to get, getting rid of some things for you. Um, that is number one. When I, when I start with my clients, I go to their house and we do a closet clearing, which is we go through all of their things in their closet and then uh, really get thing, get rid of the things that we're not in love with. Like we want to love everything in our closet, right? Because because we're only going to wear the things that we actually love, not the things that we're like, oh, it's all right. Um, so um, get rid of those things. And then I make a list of the missing components that you have in your closet. Maybe you don't have a great pair of, you know, everyday denim, or maybe you're lacking um, uh a strong blazer that you can wear over your denim or just some core basics. Um, So I make a list of all the things that we need, you know, the holes that need to be filled. And then when we go on our first shopping trip, we make sure that we cover those first um, in order to have that like solid, um, that solid closet, that all the way around closet. And then we can start adding Um, you know, from the list of other things that we needed, like, oh, I know that you have a pair of white denim, but they were a little outdated. We didn't get rid of them, but we can replace these and you can wear both, but maybe eventually you can get rid of those. And so we kind of, we kind of work it that way. Um, But most people are in their closet, um, have 80% of items in your closet. You're not even wearing, we only wear about 20% of pieces in our closet. And so it's so, it is, I have like a a blazer and like two pairs of jeans that I wear all the time. The rest of them were just like taking up space. Yeah. And we go in our closets every single day and we see that clothes and we pretend that it's not there. Um, but that's why when I go to, um, to do these closet clearance, I have, you know, clients trying on these clothes and kind of like 
fall, you know, fall in love. Like, why do we buy this? Why, why did we stop wearing it? You know, sometimes we think that we have to continuous, continuously buy new clothes because we're showing up online or we're going to a different event. No, you don't. We get to wear the clothes as often as, as we can. We get to rewear outfits as often as you want. You know, um, that's what it's for. That's what it's for. It's for us to actually wear um, and wear the heck out of it. You know, I don't mind doing repeat outfits. Why? Because I look good in them. And when I show up, yeah, even though I, other people have seen me, um, it, it, it does people aren't judging you. The only ones that we're judging are, are ourselves. And so if you are looking amazing in it and incredible, um, wear that outfit again. And I strongly believe in repeat outfits. You know, I have a lot of people be like, well, I wore that online already, or I wore that to an event. How much did you spend on it? You know, how much did you pay for that? for you to think that you can't wear it again, Mm -hmm. because you can, you can, I don't know who made this rule. Um, And that's another thing. I, I'm a firm believer of breaking rules when it comes to fashion, because those rules are outdated. And so, you know, I'm a rule breaker as it is already. So (laughs) those rules are outdated. I love your Instagram. I mean, the way that you show up on Instagram is just so powerful. You were such a powerhouse leader, strong woman. Like you just, you, you definitely have that energy of someone that can really help people. And Mm -hmm. you also feel comfortable in your own skin and you, you just exude this energy of like, when you're with me, you're going to be taken care of. And it's like Mm. this boss babe energy that I absolutely love. And I really can't wait, you know, for Mm -hmm. future projects, events, um, you know, shopping with you, you know, different things that are going to be coming up that I would love to collaborate with you on and really connect with you on this. Because um, like I said, like the second I heard you speak in the first five minutes, I was like, we're going to be friends. So Mm -hmm. (laughs) thank you, Melody. Thank you for saying that you are a powerhouse too. And I'm so grateful that um, to have met you. Um, Thank you, Raquel, for the connection. Yeah. Thank (laughs) you, Raquel, if you're listening to this. (laughs) Um, So tell us, you know, how can you help people that maybe are, um, and where are you, tell us where you're located first. I'm located in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, and normally I work with entrepreneurs. I love doing branding shoots for clients. Um, if you are ready to step into, you know, uh, your brand and really show up for it, um, I do brand shoots. And then I also, um, have packages, you know, where it's a three month or a six month or a year long package for entrepreneurs who just really need help in really reinventing themselves and um, kind of stepping into the highest version of themselves. I um, am mostly on Instagram. Um, My first and last name is Dulce Badio underscore. And you can go to my website. I offer 20 minute free consultations um, and kind of give you um, an energetic on your closet read. Like, let's talk about it. Let's, let's, let's see why you're having a hard time getting dressed in the morning. And so you can go to my, um, um, website, which is dulcebadio.com, which is my first and last name.com. And, um, yeah, I, I love getting, I love giving free consultations and, um, just seeing how I can help people. I mean, I love working with women and yes, one of my main priorities is for women to feel safe. Um, it is a very safe environment and you will be taken care of when you are working with me. I've, I've done this for many years and it's something that I love to do. So. Mm -hmm. I love that. And you guys definitely, reach out to Dulce. Uh, her Instagram again is at Dulce Badio underscore on Instagram and give her a follow. Um, and you know, just show her some love because she's doing some amazing things in the world. And I just have a feeling that you're going to continue getting bigger and stronger and more well-known and you're going to help transform a lot of women's lives. And I absolutely just love your energy and I cannot wait Mm. to book my ticket to Scottsdale to come down there and do a shopping day with you. Um, <laughs> and, you know, as I said, I'm more of a one-on-one girl. So, I'm yes. like, you know, and I'm like a shorty, I'm five feet tall. So it's like, I'm scared to go shopping on my own out here because everything that I buy probably needs to get tailored or it's too big. Mm. So <laughs> I will be connecting with you soon. Um, thank you for taking time out of your day to come onto the Spirit Biz podcast. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Melody, so much. I'm grateful for you.
Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye.